Oxen! Bye! How's it going everyone? JKX6 here, back on Forza once again. My chair feels odd. As you all know on this channel I like to give you fully up-to-date news on everything Forza related, whether that's Forza Horizon 4 or Forza Motorsport, I like to give you full up-to-date content. And as we all know, presumably the next Forza is going to be a Forza Motorsport, a Forza Motorsport 8, which is presumably this year coming, 2020, so we're finally creeping up on that. Now in today's video we actually have some new information, new features and new just general talk about the next Forza that's coming out, finally. Today's video I'm going to touch on the new features, let you know what they've been up to, how it's going on and what the game seems to be going like. Now we all know that the previous Forza Motorsport was previously Forza Motorsport 7. Now we don't know if the next one's going to be called Forza Motorsport 8, it probably is. But I'm going to class the next Forza Mode Sport that we're talking about today as Forza Mode Sport 8. This new Forza Mode Sport is due to release, presumably, late 2020. We've skipped a year, and this next year, at the end of it, we're going to get the new Forza Mode Sport, tying up with the new release of the next Xbox as well. So there could be a chance that the next Forza Mode Sport is, you know, it matches the specs of the new Xbox, which could be very exciting, but that's not what we're touching on today. Anyway, in the last Forza Monthly stream, which was the December edition, there was a part where they talked about the Forza Motorsport, what exactly they've been doing, how it's going, and some of the new features in it, which is what I'm telling you today. It was mentioned in the live stream that Forza Motorsport 8 is now actually playable. They had their first big day, which is a studio-wise playtest. So to put it short, I think they said it was last Friday, they had a studio-wide playtest, which presumably means all of the studio, all of Turn 10, played Forza Motorsport 8 for the first time and just played it properly and had a proper test day to see what went wrong, to see what went right, to test everything out. But that means that Forza Motorsport 8 must be playable to some extent already. I may leave the odd clip on stream of him, you know, talking about what I'm talking about. We had a big, a big uh, day this last Friday. Um, and we had our first play test for the new experience, uh, studio-wide play test, and... Uh... Now I'm going to talk about the new kind of stuff that they've reworked and just the new features that they've done. Um, and we experienced our new tire model, we experienced our new tire pressure model, we have a new uh, way that heat interacts with the tire pressure, and, uh, and uh, we actually have dynamic tack, uh, track temperatures affecting this all. New tire model, a new tire pressure model, a new way that heat interacts with the tire pressure, and there's actually dynamic ta track temperatures affecting this all. Now presumably this means that, you know, the tire temperature and the tire heat of the track and just the tyre heat in general has an effect on how the car performs, has an effect on the tyre pressure. So if it's maybe a very cold track, you may have to heat your tyres up more, I'm not too sure. If it's a warm track, maybe that affects it a little bit less. And maybe heating up your tyres has, has a big effect now. And the tyre pressure may vary depending on if it's cold or warm or stuff like that. It seems like they're putting a lot of work into the tyre pressures and tyre models and just tyres in general and making them a lot more realistic. Um, we have dynamic uh, rubbering in on the, on the track. We have dynamic rubbering in on the track. So what would this mean? Presumably something well, not massively exciting, but it may mean that, you know, if you do a burnout, if you do a wheel spin, you know, there's dynamic rubber on the track. You can see it kind of rubbering in. I presume that's what that means. Just more realistic, you know, rubbering in. <laughs> actually have a, a new atmospheric pressure system um, that actually accurately has uh, pressure affecting things like an air density affecting aerodynamics and power as well as the tire pressure but new atmospheric pressure system which accurately has pressure affecting things like air density affecting power and aero now this is very cool this may mean that on certain tracks the atmospheric pressure might be different different air density which will then affect the power and the aero so if you're higher up, if it's a track that's really high up in the mountains, it'd be different to if it's at sea level. This is all just random guesses, but they're seeming there's going to be a lot more relation between the cars and the track instead of just it being the same on every track, if that makes sense. The track and the, and the pressure and the air is going to make a difference to your power, how the aero works, even the tyre pressure. It's going to be a lot to think about and it seems madly realistic. Uh, and then we have an entire new suspension system with a uh, new suspension modeling and uh, once again oh like gosh. these are just a ton of things under the hood here and another thing is there's a new suspension system and new suspension modeling so it's not just the tires they're working out maybe new suspension type stuff as well 
and they did also say that this is just this is just a tiny bit of everything else that they're doing. This is just a tiny portion of how crazy this game is going to be. Uh, and I'm, I'm missing about 15 other things <laughs> that uh, that are all just under the hood uh, mm -hmm. that we all got to experience. And once again, that's just kind of the moment to moment rubber meets the road. Uh, forgive the uh, the pun uh, experience. But no, we actually got to play the new game. This is nothing compared to what they're bringing out. So what does all of this information tell us? For me, this gets me more excited than I already was for the next entry to the Forza Motorsport series. We all know that technically they've had an extra year to work on this game. They're producing it differently. They're producing it alongside us, giving us lots of information about the game before it's anywhere near being revealed. And the fact that they've got all these new type of systems, all of these new type of features, and if this is just a little bit of the pie, Forza Motorsport 8 is going to be one hell of a game. Now, I just thought I'd do this video to keep everyone sort of up to date at what stage Forza Motorsport 8 is at. It seems that it's at a very playable stage. Maybe not very realistically, but it's at a playable stage. They've still got 10 to 11 months to finish off the game, so that's loads of time. But it seems that they are hard at work. With the amount of new stuff they're remodeling, it's going to be good. We can probably expect the game to be vastly different to every other motorsport that there's ever been. It seems like it's been completely reworked, which I don't blame you. If I've had an extra year to do it, then why not? And that's good. It means it's probably going to be called more of a sim racer than it already is. Now, obviously, we're going to get more information as it goes on, but this may be the last piece of information we get on Forza Motorsport 8 this year. They have said that obviously more information and news is due to come next year, which is 2020, which is only a couple of weeks away anyway. But in 2020, we can probably expect big announcements when it comes to this game. Maybe some gameplay at some point quite far into the year. Official reveals, massive amount of news. It's going to be a big year. Now, the other thing that may be quite interesting is, as we know, the next Xbox, the next gen has just been kind of announced and some of the specs of it as well. For example, you know, 4K 60fps, obviously, even an 8K capability. Now, does this mean that Forza Motorsport 8 has 8K graphics? Honestly, probably not. I'll be very surprised if it does. The next Xbox is obviously more powerful than ever, and we can expect Forza Motorsport 8 to use a lot of that power that it's got at its availability so it's gonna be one hell of a game especially if they keep doing new stuff like this it's gonna be completely reworked it's gonna be awesome just thought i'd try and keep you all up to date with everything that's being said about forza motorsport because these things kind of go unnoticed a few articles get made about certain things but you know i thought i'd keep everyone up to date on youtube about it let me know in the comment section below if you want me to continue to do forza motorsport 8 update videos there's not going to be too many by the looks of it at least until next year next one but yeah they're doing a lot with forza motorsport 8 this year and i am massively excited let me know what you think leave a like if you've enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already for more thoughts uh, content i'll see you all later